Giannis Antetokounmpo, aka the Greek Freak Shine, on the biggest stage of his life so far, aka the NBA Finals, and now his shoe just arrived in the biggest box that I've ever received so far. Welcome back to the channel everybody, my name is Zach, you can call me Zachaboo, and I'm here for you and any sneakers out there that you are curious about. Again, this isn't a hype sneaker channel and I don't snub any brands over here because as I've mentioned before, the more options that we have, the better it is for us as consumers. But it's about time that I actually reviewed a shoe from arguably the biggest player in the game right now and that would be Nike. Well, yeah, I got this off Lazada. It was my first time buying from the Nike official flagship store over there. And apparently this is the box you get for purchasing one sneaker. Mm. Okay, look, I know we're trying to be environmentally friendly, but being able to get a box of this big still excites me at times, man. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox the box within this box then store this box away so it can be reused. And then we'll get into the review right after. Okay, okay. I'm getting better at this, I think. Gosh. Oh. Hmm. Ooh. They just squeeze that in there. Gosh, what is this? This is bubble wrap on steroids, bro. Ooh. Okay, huh, look at that. So as I did mention earlier, these are Giannis Antetokounmpo's shoes, but these aren't the ones that are being talked about right now. Mapapansin nyo na lang na meron na pala sa stores, like uh, Capital, Lazada, Zalora, etc, etc. In English, you'll probably notice that these are already in the store's catalogs, without even seeing so much as a teaser. But here we are. And these, my friends, are the Nike Giannis Immortality. Ah. Oh. Now right off the top of my head, I will say that there wasn't much talk about this, primarily because it is sort of a takedown or budget model, and I'm sorry for anyone who gets offended out there, but it is what it is. These cost under 4,000 pesos, and Nike, the Nike, wanted to tap all different kinds of markets, so they gave us more options price-wise. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure there's even a video where PJ Tucker shows these to Giannis, and the Greek freak himself actually said that he never saw them before. You haven't seen them yet! You haven't seen them yet! Bro, you got my shoe before me. Bro, why are you acting like you got it before everybody else, bro? I have them. Bro, this is the first time I've seen this, bro. Does that take anything away from the sneaker? Not really. More often than not, signature athletes aren't really involved in the production of their signature sneakers, let alone the takedown model, as you may have seen from the recent issues with Kyrie and Nike. But going back to the Giannis Immortality, I do think this was overshadowed by the release of the Zoom Freak 3, in part because the Zoom Freak 3 looks like a beast of a shoe, and also because the Bucks won the NBA championship. I'm not a fan of basketball sneakers being worn for lifestyle purposes, but these feel like they could transition well off court and that's exactly why I got them. The design language itself has me comparing these more to something like a runner or a trainer and I really love my running shoes. Going over the shoe in detail and you start to see why it's a budget shoe. It's a whole bunch of synthetics, from the mesh build of the upper to some of the overlays. It looks like they didn't skimp out on the traction though because it's just full on herringbone and I can tell you right now that it feels pretty solid in that department. If there's anything that makes these feel like a budget shoe, it'd be the cushion. Because technically there isn't any. It's just straight up phylon, which is a fancy term for EVA or proprietary foam. But it is cored out with a lot of holes. You can't exactly see it on this colorway because the outsole is made of solid rubber. 
So I'll go ahead and bring out these KD-12s to show you, since you can sort of peek right into the cushion. Much like the KD-12, the Giannis Immortality has holes cored out into the foam for compression, and while it feels alright underfoot, don't expect it to be like the KD-12, which has a full-length zoom strobel and a zoom hex unit in the heel. Sizing-wise, I do feel like these run a little narrow, kind of snug heading towards the forefoot, but I do prefer sneakers like these to fit that way. I wear a size 10 for Nike when it comes to basketball shoes, so that's exactly what I went with. For context, I do wear a 9.5 when it comes to running shoes with Nike, so yeah, I'd recommend you go true to size unless you have wide and flat feet, in which case, beware, okay? <laughs> It is always better to try them on first, or at least go with a shop that offers a return or exchange policy, which I believe Lazada actually offers. So what do I really think about the Nike Giannis Immortality? Well, right off the bat, I have no intentions of playing basketball in these, and I'm treating them more like a lifestyle shoe, which I can work out in since I do feel like the design translates well off court. It's sleek, simple, and looks like a runner. Plus, that black, white, and volt color combination is always nice. These are pretty comfortable, and for the price of 3,995 pesos plus some discounts on certain shopping sites, you get exactly what you pay for. Cheaper materials with a name attached to it. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to be doing a performance review on these guys, but they should be alright if you decide to work out or, you know, shoot around once gym's open. And that's just about it for my review on the Nike Giannis Immortality. If you found this video helpful in making a decision about these shoes, if you want to see more content just like this, then as usual, please like this video by hitting that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Share it with your friends and turn on post notifications because it really does help me out a lot. Now, if you are interested in grabbing a pair of these guys, I will be leaving a link down below in the description box, along with a link to my socials, as well as a link to the mechanics of our ongoing giveaway. And I kind of do have updates about that pretty soon. My name is Zach. You can call me Zachaboo. Thank you so much once again for watching, and I will see you next time. Yo.